How's it going? What, what's your name? Cheryl. Cheryl? How, how do you spell that? It's H-A-R-R-Y-L. Oh, cool. Where, where are you from originally? Portland. Portland? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Born and raised, huh? Yes. That's cool. Uh, you grew up with both parents? No, just my mom. Just. Yeah, my dad. I guess they got divorced when I was born. Oh, when you were born? She said, because I wasn't a boy, he divorced her, but you know, I know that's full of shit now. Are you kidding me? Mm -hmm. That's what he said? Sorry. Have you ever seen him since? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah? Yeah, he died and stuff, but he's he was a great, great guy. Like a hippie, wanderer, you know. When, when, when did you meet him first? No, I, I, well, I mean, I, I don't know, I, I was young, you know. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I was young. I, you know, I hung out with him and stuff. Oh, cool. Did, uh, did you graduate high school? No. How, how far did you go? Like 10th grade, probably. What happened? I hated school, hated school, hated school. You did? I went to like so many, I can't even count, like I think 13 or 14 different schools. And I never went to one school for a whole year. So I was always a new girl and it's very shy. 13 you know. to 14 different? Schools. It's wow. yeah, a lot. A lot of schools. Yeah. So. so the, uh, what, what did you do after that? I just ran away. My mom said, I can't live there if I don't go to school. So I ran away and just lived with different people. You know? How old were you? About 14. 14? Yeah. That, were you on the streets then? Yeah. Or like 14? Yes. Really? Like, well, I would, you know, stay with whoever, like hitchhiked a lot. And, you know, when I would stay with people that, that I got picked me up. Stuff. Oh, man, that's crazy. Yeah. Were, were you doing any drugs or any alcohol? Yeah. You were? What, what kind of drugs were you? Oh gosh, mostly cocaine. Really? Yeah. Yep. You were 14? Yeah. Who, who introduced you to that? Oh gosh. Some I don't friends? even. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Were, were, were your parents ever into that? Well, stuff? yeah, a little bit. Yeah, I mean, like. My mom didn't do drugs. She drank. They, you know, my dad was like a hippie, so he did drugs. You know, natural right. drugs. He would never agree with like heroin and all that stuff. He was into the natural stuff, oh, mushrooms, yeah. pot, you know, oh, stuff like that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he was. So I mean, after the streets, you ever get married or? No, nope, never been married. No kids. Mm, yeah, yeah, I have kids. Oh, you have kids? I have two kids, but they How were kids? Oh, two? taken. Oh. They got taken? Yeah. What happened? Drugs, you know. I was just into my drug life. Yeah. How old were you when you had your kids? 28 and like 30-something. Oh, really? Do you guys still keep contact? No. You don't? One's like 20 and one's like 26. 20 and 26? Yeah. Do you, uh, do you still use drugs? Yeah, periodically. I mean, I just got on this program here. Well, I mean, actually, I've been on the program for a while, but I'm just trying. I'm I'm trying to, you know. What kind of drugs are you struggling with? <sighs> um, I guess uh, heroin, meth. Really? Yeah. Oh, man. So you're here at the methadone? Yeah, program? yeah. Okay, so I first got on methadone when I was 18. I was already strung out like, when I was 16, but I was like waiting to turn 18 so I can get on the program. Mm -hmm. So I've been doing this, like I'm 57 now, so I've been doing this for a long time. All the methadone? Wow. On and off, on and off, on and off, you know? Huh. Yeah. Have you ever been in recovery? I have been in recovery, but I never really, for very long, you know? How did it went? Yeah, yeah, huh. never very long. Wow. I'm definitely better than I was, you know. You were? You I'm, de are? I'm better now than I was, yeah. Oh, I was like on Xanax for like 20 years, just like on the nod. It was like really bad for the last like 20 years. Wow. Uh, uh, so. You got a place? I just got a place. You did? Right now I just got a place at home, right down the street. Were, were you homeless before that? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So I got out of prison, been in prison a few times. I got out of prison about a year and a half ago and stayed with my mom, then she died. And, sister and you know we're fighting a lot about um, the house and everything you know when your parents die a parent dies and 
you know, usually there's conflict. Conflict? You guys get that song? You guys are... yeah. I mean, sometimes, some days she's nice and she got a restraining order on me and... Oh, your sister? Yeah. Wow, that's too bad. Look, she's been beating me up my whole life. She's like five years older than me. She's been beating me up my whole life, bullying me, and then, so I finally like decided to like defend myself or like hit her back a little, and then she just wanted to get everything out of the house. She wanted everything, you know? That was one way to do it. Get me out. What'd you go to prison for? Well, like back in, in the 88, I went for bank robbery. That was like the, the big one, federal prison. And then um, all the other times where it was usually like drugs, delivery, driving stuff, theft, mostly drugs, you know. How long did you go in the federal prison for? Five years. Five years? Yeah. Wow. Really tough. It was, yeah, it was kind of fun. I, that was like my clean time, you know, and I have lots of, you know, it was kind of fun. They're like, Certain prison's not fun, but that, I know, federal prison, was, it was a lot different. I've been to the state prison several times, too. You any education or anything? No, yeah, I got my GED and stuff. Oh, your GED? Oh, cool. Yeah. That's neat. So yeah. what? Uh, oh, I'm doing something. I can't talk right now, I'm doing something. <laughs> yeah, I'll talk to you later. So, uh, do you, what do you, uh, do you plan, do you have any goals or any, oh, gosh. For the future, any plans for the future? I mean, I, I do. I mean, I'm so happy I got housing right now. I'm just like, my whole life was like, wow, I have my own key to my own place. It's like, God, so awesome. I've only been there like two weeks now. Oh, that's cool. And, um, yeah, I'm just, I'm waiting for the house to sell and, uh, I plan on, I just want to go like, uh, I really just want to go to Florida, go to Key West, and spend yeah. my time in a Key West, Florida. Is this your, how long have you been homeless? Is this the first place for a long time? Or? Well, I, so I've been out about a year and a half, out of prison. And I, I wasn't homeless at first, I was at my mom's, you know? I mean, it's not my home, but yeah. I was there for, then she died. and So a, a year, I guess, oh, almost yeah. a year, I guess. And then you got a place. Yeah, that's cool. I mean, yeah, I was in my car, motels and stuff. Yeah, I mean, before that, it was like, before prison, I was living with this guy for some years, and I know I just never had my own place, you know, for a long, long time. It's just so different to have my very own place, you know? Yeah. I feel like I can be myself now, so now I have hope that I can, maybe I'll get clean, you know? Oh, yeah. And, yeah, uh, cool. you know, I could be myself, figure out who that person is, you know? Do you have any uh, life regrets? Yeah. Um, yeah, I do. I guess uh, ever, you know, ever doing drugs in the first place. <laughs> you know what I mean? Doing drugs in the first place? Yeah. Uh, I mean, losing my kids, that was like, that's all I wanted. I wanted to get, um, I wanted to have kids so bad. And, mm -hmm. Like I was like 13, 14, trying to get pregnant, you know. I wanted kids, you know. And I never got pregnant until I was like 28. Oh, wow. So I just thought I couldn't. So then when I, um, when I actually, you know, got, got pregnant and I was already, I just never thought I could. So I was already kind of, um, you know, just kind of a touchy subject, but. So, yeah. And they got, yeah, they got taken away, you said? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, do you have any, any advice or any quotes you want to give anybody? Oh, boy. Um, God, I had, you know, to, uh, man, you know, like, I'm going to say that I always thought, I just learned recently, or figured out recently, over all these years, that, um, that I thought drugs were the, the cool thing, you know? The, the people with the drugs were the cool people, and you know, they're, and I just realized recently that it's it's just a weakness, you know? It's a, it's all just a weakness. And, uh, you know, when you're young, you, that's what you think, you think that, you know, the drugs are the cool, people with drugs are the cool, you know? It's just a weakness, you know? Oh, cool. <laughs> all right, thank you so much. All right. Yeah.